Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Fetzeri. Following my previous video on a real time pro simulation architecture exploiting fleximeter platform, I would like to use a use case in which we have a bidirectional data exchange, and that is FTA for detection, isolation, and registration. Similar to the previous architecture, we have a digital real time simulator. In our case, it's an open RT with six activated ports and e mega sync configuration to run EMT. We have an adapter and we have a computer in which we run uh, the algorithm, the FT algorithm. In this presentation, as you see, we have uh, the, the digital real time simulator in charge of running the virtual model of the grid. We have the adapter in charge of translating UDP IP or TCP IP packets into JSON. And we have Fleximeter platform. Uh, exploiting MQTT broker, which is an IoT, IoT based approach, Internet of Things approach, and we have the a smart function, which actually can be several uh, modules of applications. In our case, uh, this smart function is FTIR, which is similar to the fortification algorithm, but in fortification algorithm, we retrieve measurements from the smart meters in the system, pass to the algorithm to locate the fault, but here, this FTIR is taking some actions in order to isolate and also restore system. The actions relies on, rely on the alerts retrieved from the system. So once the fault is occurred in the system, ticket breakers through the IED sends alerts into a uh, fleximeter platform and eventually to the FTIR. And FTIR sends commands to the reclosers in the system or normally open switches or any other actuators in the system in order to isolate and restore the system. Uh, to see how this process works uh, in terms of communication architecture, I would like to run, run a live demo using RTLab software, which is the uh, development environment for uh, OpenRT. As you see, here we have a virtual model of a uh, distribution grid with two feeders and normally open switch in order to reconfigure the system. Uh, in the first feeder, uh, we have five uh, derivations for, for the loads. Uh, and I would like to introduce a fault between uh, the load L4 and L5 and see how FTIR uh, reacts into the occurrence of the fault. So let's try the fault here. Once the fault is triggered, circuit breaker is opened due to the protection relays. And as you see, the alert is sent to the FTIR. So alert is received, fault detected in medium voltage feeder. And this is the phase of fault detection. We intentionally impose some delays into our communication architecture to be able to follow. Then FTIR sends commands to open all the reclosers in the feeder. Then FTIR sends commands to the second breaker to, to close it back. And starting from the uh, downstream recloser, it sends command to close the reclosers one by one. So you see, recloser number one is closed. Now recloser number two is closed. And once recloser number three is being attempted to close, circuit breaker status is zero because the fault is uh, in after this uh, recloser. So in this case, uh, we ensure the fault is after this recloser. The action that FTIR now does is to, uh, this, to uh, open this recloser, and this is actually fault isolation. So we isolate this L4. And the last action is to close back normally open switch and circuit breaker to restore the fault. This process, in reality, takes a few seconds, depends on the communication architecture and the reaction of the algorithm. But uh, thanks to this Internet of Things approach, we can accelerate this process and eventually we can have an accelerated registration, which is very useful for the distribution system operator in order to improve uh, the reliability indexes like safety and safety. Thank you very much.